she had become unresponsive and pulseless three different times, so they coded her three different times, brought her back, and they had to shock her to put her out of VTAC to get her stable. An ICU nurse who's been helping COVID patients get seriously sick and doctors cannot seem to figure out what's wrong. Yeah, this month she was in the ICU, as you heard there, struggling to survive. And that mystery illness kept her there for days. Brittany Thomason has her story. Need some big wishes. From celebrating her 37th birthday and working in the ICU to landing in the ICU herself, Danielle Lucas's life changed in a matter of weeks. On July 13th, her husband Chris says she began having chest pain. She called 911 and as soon as she hung up the phone, uh, she looked up at me and had a weird look on her face and then all of a sudden she just passed out and became unresponsive. An ambulance took the mom of three to the hospital. She went on a ventilator and stayed in the ICU for more than a week. And then she also suffered from a stroke during the same time. So basically cardiac arrest and a stroke. Her COVID test came back negative and Chris says doctors couldn't figure out what caused her medical issues. It's so frustrating just not having any type of answer and not you knowing how to prevent this from happening again. Weeks later, doctors still don't know what happened. Danielle finally came home this week, but it will be a while before she fully recovers. That's why her sister set up this GoFundMe page. For someone used to taking care of other people, today it's Danielle needing the community to rally around her. Now she's on the other end of it, on the receiving end where she needs to be taken care of, and she has done so much in the last decade for the community. We want to pay it back to her. Send prayers. I mean, that's the biggest thing is, you know, for her recovery. Brittany Thomason, Arizona's family.